Okay, welcome to part two of the Bernoulli trials um, videos. Uh, this is going to focus on questions that have at least and at most in them. So let's uh, have a look at uh, our example. So an at least question. A survey shows that 60% of the population of a town are female. If seven people walk past a point in the town, what's the probability that at least three of them are male? Okay, so this is an at least question. So we need to have a look at what that means. Well, at least three of them are male means we could have three males, we could have four males, we could have five males, we could have six males, or we could have seven males. But we can't have, I'm just going to draw a line here, we can't have two males, one male, or no males. We can't have either of them. So this is uh, not this many. We can't have this, but we can have this. So I want to look at them and see which one of them is easier to calculate. Well, it's easier to calculate three things than it is to calculate five things. So we can calculate these three things. The probability of having no males, one male, or two males. And what we can do is we can do one minus this probability. One minus the probability of not one, two, or zero. And that will give us then, that will be equal to this probability here. Okay, so I'm going to do one minus the probability of no males plus the probability of one male plus the probability of two males. And that is equal to this probability here, the probability that at least three of them are male. Okay, so let's take each of these individually. Now, this is going to be a Bernoulli trial. And um, the first one is straightforward. The probability that none of them are male. Well, that is going to be the probability that they're all female. So 60% of the population are female. So the probability of a female walking by is 0 0.6. And how many people? It's 7. So that's 0 0.6 to the power of 7. Now, I don't need to do anything else with that. I would technically uh, say it's 0 0.4 to the power of 0. And it would be 7 choose 0, which is just 1. So that would be multiplied by 1 here and 1 here. So I don't need to do that. But I will then have a look at this one, the probability of getting one male. Okay, so the probability of getting one male. The probability of a male is 0 0.4. How many males do I want? I want one. The probability of a female is 0 0.6. How many females do I want? I want six. And then we need to multiply this by how many ways can this happen? This can happen seven choose one ways. So I have seven choose one times 0 0.4 to the power of one times 0 0.6 to the power of six. And then that's going to be added to the probability of two males. So let's do that one. The probability of a male is 0 0.4. How many males do I want? I want two males. The probability of a female is 0 0.6. How many of them do I want? I want four. And how many ways can this happen? This can happen seven choose two ways. And remember then, this whole thing is going to be in brackets, and it's one minus that. Now, you can do this in your calculator all in one go, or you could calculate them individually. I would prefer to do it all in one go, so that's the way I'm going to do it here. So it's 1 minus first bracket, okay, and then the next bracket is 0 0.6, close bracket, to the power of 7, plus uh, bracket 7, choose 1, close bracket, times 0 0.4 to the power of 1, so I don't need to put that power in, times 0 0.6, that's to the power of 6, plus 
bracket 7 choose 2 times 0 0.4 close bracket squared next bracket is 0 0.6 and that's to the power of 4 and then don't forget to close your last bracket at the end. So if you follow all of these uh, inputs here with the brackets that I have, you should be fine and it should work and you should get an answer of 0 0.4059. So that's equal to 0 0.4059, which is approximately equal to 40.59%. So the probability of at least three males walking by is 40.59%. Now let's have a look at an at most question. So an at most question is here. A, bi a biased coin has a 58% chance of landing on heads. If it is tossed 10 times, find the probabilities of, okay, so we have two. One, landing on heads at most twice and landing on heads at most eight times. Okay, so let's have a look at at most twice. At most twice means we can have zero, one, or two. Okay, we can't have uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. So it should be clear that I'm just going to calculate the three of these probabilities here and add them together okay so the probability of no heads so that means i'm going to get 10 tails so the probability of tails let's take these individually the probability of tails is 1 minus 0 0.58 so that's 0 0.42 and i want 10 of them so that's to the power of 10 then i'm going to add on this one so the probability of getting one heads so the probability of heads is 0 0.58 that's to the power of one the probability of tails then is 0 0.42 that's to the power of nine because i want nine tails and then how many ways can this happen this can happen 10 choose one ways which is just 10 ways and then i'm going to add that again to the probability of getting two heads so it's going to be similar to this one here the probability of getting heads is 0 0.58 how many heads do i want i want two the probability of tails is 0 0.42 how many tails do i want i want eight tails and then how many ways can this happen this can happen 10 choose two ways okay and then i add the three of these together to get my final solution so we can do that into the calculator in one go again so uh, in one go we have 0 0.42 to the power of 10 plus uh, 10 choose one now i know that's just 10 but i'm just going to put it in as it is on the page uh, times 0 0.58 that's to the power of 1 times uh, 0 0.42 that's to the power of 9 and now I'm going to add on 10 choose 2 that's times 0 0.58 to the power of 2 and then that's times 0 0.42 to the power of eight, sorry, to the power of eight. So that's equal to 0 0.0171, rounded there to five decimal places, one nine. So that's approximately equal to 1.719%. Okay, so flipping the coin 10 times the probability of getting at most two heads is 1.719%. Now, the second bit, what's the probability of landing on heads at most 
eight times. So at most eight times would either be zero times, once, twice, three times, four times, six times, seven times, or eight times. Okay, well look, we already have three of them done. I'd have to do that eight times in order to, uh, to calculate that. Or I could do similar to what I did in the last question. I could do the calculation for nine times or 10 times, and I could do one minus the probability of this. So that's what I'm gonna do, that'll save me time. So it's one minus the probability of nine times and the probability of 10 times. And they'll put them in brackets there like that. So this is a much easier calculation. One minus, now the probability of getting nine heads. So that is heads, which is 0 0.58, nine times. It's tails, which is 0 0.42, once. And how many ways can that happen? That can happen 10 choose one ways. And then that's also plus then the probability of 10 heads. The probability of 10 heads is just 0 0.58 to the power of 10. So put that into another set of brackets there like that. And we'll go back to our calculator. So it's one minus, open up your bracket, first bracket then, 10, uh, choose one times 0 0.58 to the power of nine times 0 0.42, that's just to the power of one, and plus 0 0.58 to the power of 10. Don't forget to close your brackets and equal to 0 0.9645, we'll take it to four decimal places there, which is approximately equal to 96.45%. So what does that mean? That means the probability of landing on heads at most eight times is 96.45%. Now remember that all of these questions can be taken back to the formula for Bernoulli trials, which is this formula here, n choose or times p to the power of or times q to the power of n minus or, where n is the number of trials, or is the number of successes, p is the probability of success, and q is the probability of failure. I prefer to do these questions without using the formula, and you build up the formula like this. Okay, so thanks for watching that one. Um, if you tune in to the next video, part three, part three is questions where you're looking for exactly or experiments. So I have a couple of examples of those ones there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.